Romans 8.28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. This is the result of an ice storm that hit about a week ago in our area. The night of the ice storm, it was a Saturday night, our sump pump burned out and our basement flooded with water, about four or five inches of water in the basement. While our brothers and sisters in Christ, the Board of Trustees and other servant leaders at St. Matthew came over to help us clean up while I was in church actually, this limb fell on the power line and knocked out power to the parsonage for about 34, 35 hours. And we had to move out for a day and a half to stay in a hotel while this got fixed. Why did this happen? I think for two reasons. Jesus tells us to love God and love our neighbor. But when something like this happens, my family was on the other side of that love. Other people in our church were able to love God and love their neighbor by helping us overcome this challenge here. And that's some of the things that go through my mind as these things happen. This could have been a lot worse. Another seven feet that way, and this would have come down on my son's bedroom. And that could have been a real tragedy. But God was loving us, and so we received his love while we still love him in response to it. And we love our neighbors, and they loved us. And so that's why some of these things happen. Love. God's love for us and other people can show their love for God by loving us, our neighbors, when this stuff happens. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love for us in Jesus Christ and giving us the Holy Spirit so that we can love others. I pray that when these kind of things happen, we'll be able to share the love that you have for us and love our neighbors as your son Jesus told us to do. In his name we pray, amen. I'm Pastor Ed Blonsky. Thanks for joining me in this devotional moment from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and School. God's richest blessings to you.